But Uber's been in Hong Kong for 10 years now, but it's never been regulated. So now the government is rolling out these proposals to regulate it by asking all the platforms to be licensed, asking them to license their drivers, asking the vehicles to be licensed. So basically creating this regulatory framework for them to operate under. Mm -hmm. The problem is now how many licenses, how many permits will each of these platforms be able to have? How long will this take? What are some of the details? So that's what everyone is looking for now when it comes to the actual regulation. Do we know, do we have an idea of how many licenses? As you mentioned, that's a key question, right? Because that affects supply. And do we know the timetable for when this might be put in place? Yes. So the government is conducting a study on this this year, and okay. they said that they're planning to have this framework ready by next year, or a proposal that they would, they would roll out. Mm -hmm. um, currently, there are only 1,500 permits for private cars to, you know, um, carry passengers. But of course, none of the platforms are actually regulated themselves. So they're sort of operating under this gray zone. Right. Um, Uber is saying that, you know, they welcome the government to sort of discuss regulations and to have this framework, but they're a little bit concerned about the caps potentially that the government could put a number of permits hmm. um, for these kind of cars. And this has sort of been a long, I guess, discussion about, you know, the competition with, with taxi drivers and Uber. And, and I think even some taxi drivers pretended to be passengers of Uber to try to tell them to, yeah. you know, go to the police and all that. I, I mean, I mean, is, is anything that's going to resolve kind of what we're seeing in Hong Kong about, you know, this reputation of Hong Kong people on, um, you know, bad service or yeah. rude behavior and the like. I mean, th is this part of that sort of campaign as well, too? Yeah, definitely. I think this is part of the government's bid to sort of um, ease this long-standing feud, as you mentioned, between ride-hailing platforms and taxis. Um, the taxi lobby has been quite strong in Hong Kong. They've been pushing back constantly on the regulation um, of ride-hailing platforms. And so we're seeing some of these concerns play out, even with the proposals that they've laid out. Some of the associations saying that they don't see the need for this kind of regulation um, and so so we'll see going forward yeah. how the government will be able to balance some of those interests.